Welcome everyone to We The People Opportunity Farm's second annual report. We are an organization that is committed to growth, rooted in justice, courageously disruptive, intentionally collaborative, and radically inclusive. Our mission is to break the cycle of incarceration and our motto is changing the soil in the lives of those we come in contact with. Several years back, I came up with a vision to create a world-class farm. But now, as a result of many conversations and much introspection into We The People Opportunity Farm, I find myself guided to create a world-class organization as well. We have two programs. The first one I'm going to report on is our formerly incarcerated paid internship program, which was hugely successful in 2021. Five great individuals in their own way each became an important part of the organization. Although two left early, they're both on pathways to success. In alignment with our values, we increased our interns' wages by $3 an hour. We felt that a higher wage would increase our interns' chances for establishing financial stability. It was an honor to watch intern Lojean Darby go from living in a motel and catching the bus to the farm to securing stable housing, buying a used car, and towards the end of his internship, achieve full-time employment. We were thrilled to see another intern, Pony, take a big step by purchasing a moped. Keep in mind, this person had never had his own transportation. We watched with admiration as he showed up to the farm every day on his bicycle, rain, sleet, or snow. Lawanda Hollister was an incredibly tenacious intern, navigating two jobs, college classes, and her very first time in driver's training. And as a result of a generous gift to our organization in the form of a car, we decided the best use for this gift would be to pass it along to Lawanda as she continues on her path of reintegration and entrepreneurship. Our second program is our no-cost food distribution. Here at We The People Opportunity Farm, we realize that everyone's soil can be improved by eating healthy food. This year, we grew over 14,000 pounds of organically grown produce and gave nearly 3,000 pounds to our community, more than double what we shared last year. And the sharing is not a one-way street. Every greeting we receive during distribution strengthens our community bonds. Speaking of community bonds, we had many volunteers join us to work on the farm throughout the planting, growing, and harvesting season. Folks also help with installing fencing, planting seedlings, and spreading compost and wood chips, and also help with our fourth annual Harvest Festival of Thanks event. Volunteers were an important part of our organization this year. I am grateful for their joyful participation and the great enthusiasm they bring to our organization. The success of our programs and We The People Opportunity Farm as a whole is promoted by the collaborative relationships we have with our community partners. These relationships show how solidarity is a powerful tool to change lives and change systems. Grace Fellowship Church House of Solutions continues to be an important partner as the leaseholder of the center of our organization, the farm itself. This year, the progressive and forward-thinking leadership at Grace Fellowship consented to some structural additions on the farm, including a beautiful signage, a tool shed, a tomato cooling station, as well as an irrigation system. Habitat for Humanity gives our interns the opportunity to volunteer by working on some of Habitat's local construction projects. We feel this is a great way for our interns to connect with people and to give back to the community. Our interns also participated in career pathway workshops through Michigan Works. We were excited to have Yen Azaro create a beautiful welcome sign as well as a sign to declare that kindness and dignity lives here. Our interns came alongside Matt DeMond, owner of Feral Floral, to help plant a pollinator garden donated and designed by Matt himself. Paul Ristich and his pals helped us build a tomato cooling station, which was of great benefit during our tomato harvesting. Thanks to David Tier, 
We now have an awesome new tool shed and Green Things Farm Collective helped us install an irrigation system, a critical piece of equipment to help our plants flourish and free up time for us to get other work done. I can tell you, these upgrades have had a tremendous impact on productivity, efficiency, and aesthetics. Once again, we had many great local restaurants purchase our produce. These include Maiz Mexicana Cantina, Bellflower Restaurant, Zingerman's Roadhouse, Zingerman's Deli, Detroit Street Filling Station, Frida Bedita's, Juicy Kitchen, York, Ricewood Barbecue, and Benology. In addition, our produce could be found at the Ann Arbor People's Food Co-op, the Ypsilanti Food Co-op, and at both Argus Farm Stops. We also want to thank the Farm of St. Joe's and food gatherers for purchasing our produce to distribute in the community. All of these local businesses support our mission and we want to support them. So please frequent them if possible and enjoy all they have to offer. Progress at We The People Opportunity Farm did not only come in the form of physical improvements, our organization has also made some long-term investments in our internship program by contracting the services of the intelligent and compassionate Kisa B. Johnson. Kisa gave the interns opportunities to share and learn from each other about life's challenges and lessons. Kisa is also designing a full curriculum that will help us to better serve our future cohorts of interns. In an effort to better understand and track the success of our intern program, as well as the organization, We The People Opportunity Farm contracted with Bumblebee Design and Evaluation and its lead consultant, Ebony Reddick. This innovative company uses an approach that aligns with our mission and values. One of their services, Ripple Effect Mapping, has already started to give us information about our current and past interns' experiences within the program. With this, we will also be able to evaluate our staff along with the impact we have on our community. We look forward to learning more because we are not afraid to examine ourselves and see where there is success and where there is a need for change. In 2021, through radical organizations, groups, and individuals, we were able to raise over $130,000, and this was done with no official fundraising campaign. We believe this is a bold statement about the value of the work we do and about the people who support this work along with our mission. Do we appreciate this kind of radical investment? Damn right we do. And are we good stewards of the funds given? Damn right we are. Our funding grantors include the United Way of Washtenaw County, both the Ann Arbor and Ypsilanti Area Community Foundations, the Michigan Health Endowment Fund, as well as the Kindle Project. Our increased media presence over the last year tells me that we are doing something right. Outstanding articles in local newspapers, a visit from Fox 2 News, and most recently a great piece done by the CBS Morning News have all drawn attention to the soul-changing work that is happening. Our social media presence has also grown, and we now have about 3,500 Instagram followers and over 4,000 Facebook followers. In alignment with our value of being radically inclusive, we invited and welcomed as our board president, the chief assistant prosecuting attorney for Washtenaw County. You may wonder, why would a person whose job historically is to lock folks up be leading a board where their mission is to break the cycle of incarceration? Well, if any of you have any doubts that Victoria Burden Harris is the real deal, go check out the important strides she is making with reform. My hope is that you will see why we think she is the perfect person at the helm of our board of directors. With all the exciting changes we have experienced over the last year, you might wonder what is next for our organization. Well, here's a sneak preview into some of the things we have in the works. This year, our interns earn $17 per hour during their time with us, which is the fair living wage here in Washington County. Next year, we plan to increase this number to 19. We also plan to offer a benefits package for our staff. This is our way to show we value them and are invested in their success. Grace Fellowship and our organization will work with the Washtenaw County Water Resource Department to install a rain garden next to the farm. 
This will not only add beauty to our space, but will also help mitigate the effects of heavy rainfall on the land we steward. Next year, we plan to develop more partnerships and opportunities for education. This will increase our interns' chances of success and reduce their chances of recidivating. And of course, we plan to enhance our community gathering space because we hope to have more visitors stop by and more volunteers come to lend an invaluable hand. We know that 2021 has been a difficult year for many folks, and seeing the resilience and determination of others inspires us to keep innovating, disrupting, and growing. It is an honor for me to be the executive director of We The People Opportunity Farm, an honor due in large part because of the support of so many wonderful people, organizations, and businesses. In closing, my hope bubble and optimism runs over, and I'm super excited to see what 2022 has in store. We hope that you stay tuned and plugged in because we cannot do this without you.